Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to set up your Symfony installation with DDEV. So let's get started. So if you know my old videos, especially my first video, I have a setup with Docker and I have an own created Docker environment. A week before I had a customer who introduced me into DDEV and I think it's a better way to develop a Symfony application. Especially DDEV has a router and with the router you have the possibility to get different projects running without stopping them. And you have all also the chance to connect the projects with each other. So let's get started. I have opened the uh, DDEV installation instructions and um, I put the, the URL inside the video description below. So you can follow with your operating system here. I have installed it on my Mac operating system with Homebrew and it's running with this ddev command. Yeah? So we have a um, system-wide command which is called ddev and uh, we can use this command to set up our ddev environment. I have also opened my PHP Storm on a very blank folder here. You can see it here on the project YouTube DDEV setup. I have a blank folder, yeah, nothing is inside. And I want to start a new environment with Symfony 7 here. So that's pretty easy. So I open a terminal and with DDEV, I forgot the command. Config <laughs> with DDEV config, I start as wizard. Um, and the first thing I have to put in is the project name. I leave it as it is. So if you leave it as it is, you get the project, no, the folder name. And in my case, it's a DDEV setup. And you will also get a URL like this. So the URL will be DDEV minus setup dot ddev.site. Okay, so I will leave it as it is. So this thing inside the braces here is your project name. The next question is the doc root location. And I don't want to have my Symfony installation on the same level as the ddev installation. Okay, so I want to have it uh, folder deeper, not on the same level. So one folder deeper. So I want to have a folder which is called app and inside that we will have the public folder for the Symfony installation. Okay, so I will give this in. And the last question is the question of the product type. And you can see here that you have the choice of many projects here. But yeah, there is it's a pity, but there is no Symfony installation here. So we have to choose PHP here. So it's also the default value that um, I can accept this with the enter key. So now you can see everything is done and we could start with DDEV start, but I want to set some options before. Okay. And if I refresh my folder here you can see we have two new folders one is the .ddev folder and the second one is the app public folder and i want to delete this folder the public folder because i need a blank folder here for the installation of symphony okay and inside the ddev folder you can see a config.yaml file and if you open the config.yaml file you see some options set here and some of them are self-explained. So if you have the name or the type, it's a PHP, that, that is the value we have chosen before. We have the doc root, that's also the value we have chosen before. We have the PHP version. I want to take the 8.3 here. We have the web server type. Here it's an engine XFPM 
but I want to choose the Apache FPM server type and um, this is because I have my hostings with this setup and I don't want to change too much between my local environment and uh, real hosting okay that's why I am choosing the Apache FPM I also want to change the database version for my MariaDB from 10.11 to 11.4. You can also see these possibilities here under the database um, section here. And one option which is important is the static port for the database. So let me search for port. And I think it should be here. We have here the host HTTPS port, the host web server port, and here the host DB port. And I copy this suggestion here for, for this value and I bring it here in this line. It doesn't really matter in which line you push this value in. I want to have it here and I choose the 62 at the end of the port and I will show you in a couple of minutes why I am set up this. So I think everything is set up properly and we can start our environment. So let's try. I type in ddev start and you can see that um, something is building and some images uh, will be pulled down. So let's keep in mind that the DDEV setup is only a wrapper um, for the Docker environment. So in the, in the background you have just a Docker um, running. So that's also important for the setup that you have Docker installed, but you can see this also in the installation instructions of DDEV. And you have also a Docker Compose YAML, as I showed in the, in the first lecture of my videos here with my own Docker setup. But here, yeah, and that's the, for me, it's uh, the most important thing. You have the router also installed. And you can see this here that you have the router installed, that you have an HTTPS address here with the ddev minus setup dot ddev dot site URL. And I want to copy this. And I change to my browser and put this URL in and open this. And yeah, everything works properly. So we have a not found Apache error page. That's because I haven't installed Symfony right now. So let's change to the Symfony 7 installation. I opened the symfony.com web page here and you can find the installation instructions under documentation, Symfony docs, and here under setup installation and I choose this one with the composer create project command here right before the my project directory yeah? and i copy this and now it's pretty easy to connect to the container so as i mentioned before we have this normal docker setup running in the background and i can reach this container with the ddev command and followed by an ssh Okay, ddev ssh connects to our um, web server container. Yeah, and you can see here the var www html folder. This is mapped with this folder here. So if I list down the contents of the folder, you can see here also the .dev folder and the app folder. And now I want to change into the app folder because as I said before, I want to have the installation of my Symfony here in this folder. So it's a little bit more away from my environment. So I can divide both yeah, the environment in one folder and the source of my Symfony installation in the other folder. Okay, 
So I can paste in my command here with the composer create project symphony skeleton 7.1.star in this folder. And now everything is running and let's give this a try if it's really working. So I go to my 404 error page and refresh the page. And now you can see that we have installed Symphony 7 in, I think, 12 minutes. And if you have some practice to get this setup running, you will reach this goal within a couple of minutes, I think in two or three minutes with all the setup um, done, which we have done before. So I use PHP Storm to get my database client running here. And I want to show you how to set up this. You have to add your data source. In this case, it's a MariaDB. Um, search that here. And we have here the DB at DDEF, for example. And we have DB for the user. We have DB for the password and DB for the database. And here we have to fill in the 59062 port. And if you don't have the static port, it will change on every start. On every DDEV start, it will have maybe another port and you have to change it here in your connection if you don't have this host DB port set. And you have also the possibility with the ddev describe, ddev describe command to show all the ports set and also to show the set options and the URL to the site. And also you have here the information about the host settings. So the host settings are the perspective from your PC into the Docker container. Okay. So if we want to connect the DB, we have to take the local host with this port shown before. And if we are on the Docker environment, we have to take the DB as the host name for this machine. Okay. So if the web server want to connect with the DB, it has to take the DB host name instead of the local host address here. Okay. If you find this video useful, let's give a thumb up or give me a coffee or at least a subscription, please. So make this channel grow for me, for you and for some other guys. And until then, happy coding and stay tuned. Bye bye.